When Flora Mae Statler sold the first piece of land that would eventually become Surprise, the trailblazing developer was quoted as saying she'd be surprised if the area ever amounted to anything. Well, I have one thing to say about that. Surprise! Good morning. Found that. Delivering yeah. the papers. Yeah, yeah. Found it, yeah. Neighbors yeah. George Bradbury and James Truman have shared a little slice of heaven in surprise for decades. The dairy and the hay barns and the calf barns were all built in 1953, so I was six years old. So everything here is from my youth. When we moved out here, everybody accused us of moving to East LA. Both admit a lot has changed since then. While James's childhood was filled with milking cows and harvesting fruit, the development now encircling his family's land is quickly giving way to the city's future. It's hard to envision the intensity of the development, I should say. You know, in your mind, yeah, it's going to, you know, going to be houses, but my gosh, it's just so different now. Founded in 1938 with a Z in its name, Surprise was dominated by agriculture, hardworking families soaking up the slower lifestyle. I mean, this is in your blood, so to speak. For 24 years, George has raised horses and managed a Yupik orchard that sees thousands of visitors every year. After all that's over, we still get about 80 to 100,000 pounds of fruit out of here. Every bit of it goes to the food bank. Since 2020, the city has been ranked as one of the fastest growing in the nation. Land sales giving way to development of homes, retail, and restaurants. Of course, they miss the days of peace and quiet. But on the other hand, especially as we age, our shopping is much closer. Our medical is becoming much closer. It has gone in directions that I don't think anybody saw coming. That whole 303 corridor is just becoming a uh, a warehouse distribution uh, mega center. Raul Sada with the Northwest Valley Chamber notes that big businesses have left California's high costs and taxes setting up along key routes offering easy access to the Southwest, a place where employees can thrive. You can get more affordable homes, you can get more affordable rents, uh, and have quick access to the to the transportation corridors, some regional tourism attractions. With fewer kids taking over family farms, a changing of the tide is leading to 21st century prosperity. While it's bittersweet for these longtime residents, they're proud to call it home. The jobs are here, so the city has a bright future economically for sure. I'm Cameron Polum, ABC 15, Arizona.